Good morning, Horner Nation. Welcome to The Daily Buzz. I'm Joe Hutzler. Let's catch up with what happened this past weekend with women's basketball first. We start with the ladies who were on the road in North Carolina, in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, traveling to take on the Battling Bishops, and a team that right now is winning games but not feeling like they're doing their best to do so. As you see there, they did their best to beat the Battling Bishops 70-49. to No problems there. Was close through most of the game, but they pulled away late. Caroline Nauman with 18 points, 8 rebounds, and in the paint, Lynchburg College using their height to their advantage. 46 to 16 advantage there. Their next game is this Wednesday at 7 on LHSN. Also this weekend, Indoor Track was in action for their first meet of the season. As you take a look down the list, Lynchburg very well represented in the meet there at Roanoke College. They won't be back in action until after the first of the year, but it was a great test to start the season out. Well, this week, a very exciting news coming from the dining services here at Lynchburg College. They're going to bring the club to you, and we have a preview for you right now. Also, don't forget, this week there's the Winter Jubilee, Tuesday from 6 to 8 p.m. in Drysdale Student Center. The tree lighting by the Garens, the Christmas activities, and much, much more should be a great event for you to tune out to. I went there to that last year, had a very good time. So make sure you go and uh, check that out on Tuesday. Also, the annual holiday vendor fair is Wednesday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Also in the Student Center, third floor, sponsored by the Office of Student Activities. Well, last week, we decided to go with an, a national week instead of national days, and we started with National Hand Washing Awareness Week last week. Now, let's get you caught up on steps one and two before we move on to step three. Remember, in step one, very, very important to wash your hands with warm water. It's extremely crucial to kill those germs, and then, of course, you follow up the warm water by getting a little bit of soap on your hands. Now, once you do that, you've got to lather up the soap and rub it around your hands. Make sure that both sides of your hands, even up to your wrist, are covered in soap so you make sure you clean off all of those germs as much as possible. Do this for about 15 to 20 seconds before you even think about getting the water to uh, take the, some of that soap off. It doesn't take very long to wash your hands correctly and very important to do that now with cold and flu season on the rise. One more thing before we get off to uh, our Monday, we want to remind you, of course, that on Mondays you can go to Zaxby's on 221 and Forest for a 25% discount for college student IDs, whether you're faculty or staff or student. Show your ID, get 25% off your final order. Also, one more thing, we want to debut a new series of commercials produced by our LHSN students. A little bit of a parody kind of thing with uh, what ESPN has done in their past. Here is the first example of what some of our students students have been able to do. Joe and D-Row work as hard as the athletes they cover, which means putting in a little extra time even when the cameras are off. Callie Hughes once again great form taking down the equipment today. Callie Hughes, a veteran for this team, knows what she's doing out there. Lawrence McKinney in his senior season looking to take on a bigger role. Yeah, and this kid really knows how to finish. I mean, look at the touch right there. Silky smooth on the editing. Now, hard work and enthusiasm are great in the workplace, but everything has its limits. You know, Danny, water is an essential part of life. You really need it to live. Yeah, especially after a great workout and now heading off to class. A great walk of refreshment. Great work by our students here at LHSN. Remember, it's a great day to be a Hornet, and we are One Nation.